Good afternoon, everybody. Michelle Humes here. I wanted to share some information with you without notes. I swear I do not have any written notes. I'm going to speak from my heart and chat with you all for a little bit. Oh, here we go again. Connection is weak. Um, I'll wait a little while to see if anybody pops on. Um, of course, I will um, talk to myself if I have to because I am recording myself. I've done this several times. But I am sitting at home like I normally do and um, most of you know I work 99% from my house and I'm enjoying my afternoon coffee. It's really the only thing I can drink besides water. What is everybody doing on this Monday afternoon? Everybody at work? Don't mind me, I've got itchies. Say hello. What y'all doing? Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on, um, personally. And I wanted to share with you all um, basically me being able to actually have a business be home 99% of the time um, because most of you know I have severe allergies and I really can't be outside too often um, so I have no choice but to run my business from my house if you do see me out and about it's usually the day that I have to go to town to get my weekly shot other than that I stay home I stay right here in my house do I enjoy staying in my house no I don't <laughs> I love the outdoors um, I love going to picnics and get-togethers and family reunions I love doing all that stuff and Hopefully, in four years, when my shots are done, um, I will have most of my allergies gone. And then I can be a social butterfly and start visiting everybody. Hi, Rhonda. How are you, sweetheart? I'm so sorry I missed your um, gathering you had last week. I was really hoping to be there. Oh, I love you, too. I really, really do. Y'all gonna get me all teary-eyed. I should have brought tissue with me because I'm a very sentimental person. <laughs> I easily, ba I easily, um, I'm not crying from sadness. I'm crying from, from joy. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a few minutes before I um, start talking about. Um, my six-month review with my stay-at-home business you are a beautiful woman inside and out I can't tell you enough how um, amazing you are and I am going to come and see you there's going to be a time that I'm going to come and see you and spend the entire day with you and only me and you I'm gonna take you for myself <laughs> that's what that's my plan <laughs> good good I know I know that it cannot be easy and I, I don't know how how you're doing it but God has a plan for you and those sweet babies he sure does and I think about you every single day mm. Um, okay, first, before I get into my review, I'm going to give you 
Yes. I'm not kidding. There is going to be a day where I'm going to actually message you um, first. Make sure you're not out of town or have other plans, birthday parties or something like that. And I will message you and we'll set up a day for me to come out and hang out with you. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, I, I try every day to share some something positive, loving, to reach out to so many people because you just don't know. I love you for that. Um, I haven't lost, um, I haven't gone through what you've gone through, but I have gone through some stuff um, in my life that it can't compare to what you've gone through, that's for sure. But I have survived a lot, so I know how important it is to share um, positivity and self-love with others. I'm glad my mascara is water resistant because <laughs> it's not <laughs> smudged. Oh, y'all, I should have brought a tissue. I can't believe I'm blubbering like this live. Don't even mind. Please don't mind me. I'm probably going to cry because I'm very emotional today. I'm very emotional today. My, um, my six-month anniversary is coming up in about a week. And before that happens, I wanted to share um, a little bit about myself, what I personally have to endure on a weekly basis and how it's possible for anybody who I don't know maybe you have an illness too and you think that you can't do what I do or you think that there's nothing there for you you can't get out of your home to work a job um, that's who I'm trying to speak to today people that are excuse me like me and really can't work outside of your home so you have no choice really but to find something that will work for you a direct sales company would be it so I wanted to express live my personal experiences um, what I do on a daily basis and I'm sorry for sniffling <laughs> I love you to get back to your <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, I ha I don't have um I have lip gloss and mascara on today. That's what I have on today. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, hang on a second. I really should have brought a tissue. I'm sitting here wiping my nose. Oh. And of course, my connection's weak, so I'll be in and out fuzzy. Um. Okay, first let me give you a little um, inside to my life. What I have to personally endure on a daily basis. Most of you know that um, I have severe life-threatening allergies. Um, I'm allergic to every type of grass, every bush, they're envi environmental allergies. So when I step outside, I'm immediately stepping into a festive of um, me breathing in everything that I am allergic to. Uh, I carry an EpiPen in case I go into shock. Um, I get a shot weekly. I have medicine every day. Hi, beautiful. I need to get on a video chat with you, Jennifer, very soon. Um, hi, John. How are you? John is my, uh, I want to say my, my brother-in-law. <laughs> um, okay. So, I used to work outside my home. I did have a job. And I worked six days a week. Um, seven hours a day without a break, and I actually loved that job. I was um, a kitchen manager. I worked at Fat Mama's Tamales. I loved working there. I loved all the people that I worked with. Um, I loved to cook, so it was the perfect job for me. 
I was paid very well. They were great to me. And um, I started to get sick. I started to develop these rashes. And I had no idea what it was from. And they wouldn't go away. So I'd gone to the hospital. I'd gone to the doctor. Um, they thought it was I had, con you know, gotten um, bit by something. A spider had bit me, and it blew up. And that wasn't the case, even though I got treated for a spider bite. That wasn't the case. Um, I finally went to my doctor, and they did a screen test, a blood test, and immediately sent me to a um, skin specialist who also did another skin test. And lo and behold, I found out I had six pages of allergies, including my dogs and my cats, who were inside my home. I am highly allergic to them. No, they are not inside my home anymore. They are actually outside now. Um, they are taken, very well taken care of. Um... Okay, so I found out that I have all of these allergies. They're, they weren't, like, they have a scale between 1 and 5, being that majority of those pages, they are at the 5 level, which means I have been allergic to all these things for 5 years without even realizing it. And every day I left my home to go to work, and I was exhausted when I got home. I'd wake up. Um, completely exhausted and with no energy um, hey Andrea don't mind my sniffling <laughs> I should have brought I really should have brought a tissue it's okay I'm just I want to explain to everybody where I'm at how I got here um, why I work from home um, how I'm doing and I'm gonna get to that in a minute um, I apologize if I go in and out fuzzy because my connection goes in and out. I love you all. Hi, Bridget. Uh, okay, so I worked there for six years. I was in the kitchen, worked seven hours a day, making bulk amounts of food. The restaurant is awesome. The food is amazing. The Knock You Naked Margaritas. If you live or you're anywhere near Natchez, Mississippi, you really need to go there and try their food and their margaritas because they are the bomb. <laughs> I love their food and their margaritas. And so I worked there for a long time. When I started to get sick, having these rashes, um, basically my body was saying, hey, lady, you know, you've been breathing all this stuff in for five years and now we're going to show you a reaction to let you know that you are highly allergic to your environment which i had no idea so the doctor put me on a plan to get a shot every week in hopes that within five years i will have knocked off all those allergies if i elected not to get the shot i would live with these allergies for my entire life i would develop um, asthma and eventually be on oxygen which I don't want so me being an outdoors type of girl I grew up a tomboy I did not wear makeup I climbed trees I played basketball I played softball um, I was running around in the woods with boys trying to find freaking bugs and going crabbing at the beach. I I am not a girly girl at all. And I love being outside. So, oh, thank you, Rhonda. For me all the way over here in New Mexico. <laughs> um, so, it really hurts me emotionally to not be outside because I love the outdoors and yes I'm going to video chat you soon so me me living with these allergies and having to work from home okay I don't mind working from home I am completely 
in love with what I am doing. I'm going to get into that in a minute. I just wanted to give you a little history about me before I popped on, before I popped in about um, my six month review because most people don't know me that way. So I like to give a little history first. You can watch it on the replay if you're just popping in. And I'm sorry for all this snot. <laughs> okay, so I found out that basically if I step foot outside, um, I'm going to have a reaction. I'm going to have a severe reaction. And of course, I do it sometimes. Um, I have to to go to town once a week. And there's nothing I can do about that. I have to get out of the house, get in the car, go to town, and get my medicine. I have to. There's no way around that. So I suffer for a few days afterwards just from walking in my yard. Um, I see my husband mowing the grass, and I want to be out there with him. I um, had a girls' night. We went out. We were outside the entire time which I probably shouldn't have done, but I love girls' night. Once a month, we have a girls' night, and I said, F it, I'm sitting outside with these ladies, and I'm going to have me a drink, and I'm going to hang out with them and have a great time. Screw my allergies. And that's what I, and yeah, I suffered for three days afterwards. But you know what? Three hours of fun, it was worth it for me. Um... <laughs> if she's buying margaritas, I'm going. <laughs> Girl, if you showed up at girls' night, I would buy your meal and your margarita. <laughs> I would, oh man. You, <laughs> if you surprised me and drove all the way from Brookhaven to where I am to be at my girls' night, I would pay for your meal. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, Jennifer, I love you, girl. When I'm done here, if you're available, I'm going to get on a video chat with you. Hi, Chelsea. Are you still watching? Are you still here? Chelsea is amazing. She is my sponsor, my mentor. I love her to death. Um, okay. Are you all ready to hear my review for my business? Most people pop off at this point. But I hope you stay because I want to share my experience my heartfelt no script no I didn't write notes I just want to it's once a month Rhonda and it's usually the um, it's usually the second Thursday of the month so in August it will probably be around the 12th or 13th something like that it's usually the second Thursday of the month. Hi, Chelsea! Mwah. I love you, girl. To death, I love you. And I cannot wait to see you in four weeks. Four weeks and three days. Okay. As most of you know, I was with Unique for 14 months. A lot of things changed that affected me personally that I could no longer work for them or have my own business with them. So I had to do research to find something else that would best suit me. Um, personally, I have, to, I have to have a passion for what I am sharing with people. I have to be able to use at least 90% of the products. Um, thank you for all the hearts. <laughs> oh. Andrea, wear a mask when you're outdoors. You can get them at medical supply. Suffers the same way. Should take off and... Yes, you can. You know my door is open. If you showed up, I would open it. That's a good idea, and I honestly never thought of that. I honestly did not think of that. See? See how you helped me just then? I need to get me some masks. I will get them and wear them. <laughs> oh, that is a good idea. 
but when I go to Palooza in four weeks, I can't be wearing a mask in my photos. <laughs> okay. I had to leave Unique, and to be honest with you, it was the products. They had reformulated some products, and they didn't work well for me, and I have to be careful what I use um, personally. And even though, you know, I had, I, I loved the products, some of the products that I did use, um, the biggest thing for me was the skincare. And I did like the skincare, but it wasn't doing everything that I wanted it to do. I couldn't share that with everybody knowing that it could affect somebody else. You know, um, there's just a lot, a lot of reasons why I left and I did it because I didn't want to feel like I was stuck anywhere and um, I did some research and found Limelight by Alcone. I had watched Chelsea's video and connected with her and she took time to talk to me on the phone and um, we had an immediate connection and I learned about the products and the skincare and that was it. I signed up. I left Unique and I signed up. Andrea worked as a Charlene for 10 years. Send you more information. Okay, please send me. In yes, I worked as a CNA actually for a year back in my early 20s. <laughs> I'll have to bring like a six pack if they have them in a six pack, Rhonda. Bring a pack, a six pack of. Um, masks and we could all sit outside wearing our masks masks <laughs> to celebrate my victory and <laughs> being able to sit outside i'll have to lift a mask and sip out of my straw so i can have my margarita <laughs> um okay so i joined limelight by alcone and it took about two weeks for me to get my kit and I immediately started with the skincare. I didn't do anything else. I started with the skincare. I had a bunch of other products and I didn't really care about that at the time. I wanted to try the skincare. Um, within two days of me doing it twice a day, because I do do it twice a day, I cleanse, I moisturize, and then I use Sotox for my wrinkles and fine lines and the dark, dark pigment I used to have is almost gone. Um, so I love the skincare. I fell in love with the skincare immediately. I knew that I had a product that I could share with my friends and my family that I knew would work. Um, and then I just started to learn more about Limelight as I was going in because I was in a brand new business. I had to learn a lot. I had to learn about the products, about the people about the um, how, how we started um, and every single month that has gone by every single month that has gone by I have had the uh, m like the most perfect experience with people that aren't even on my team with the CEO herself going live oh a bug let me get rid of that the CEO going live in our um, business training groups to how positive, how some of them are spiritual, positive, uplifting, like-minded people like me. They share so much of themselves in such a positive way that all you all you want to do is share the same thing and it's more than just about me selling skincare and high professional cosmetics yes that's what I do but it's so much more than that and it's so different than unique so different than what I experienced and I do appreciate having that experience I really do appreciate going through the 14 months that I went through it was my first direct sales company online and I'm glad that I went through that because then I wouldn't have nothing to compare it with 
and everybody helps everybody. Um, it doesn't matter what level you are. You could be at the very top or just joined, and everybody helps everybody. It's amazing. It is like it's like having an extended family um, of people that genuinely care for you. Immediate friendships. Um, so it's more than me having awesome mascara and awesome pucker up beautiful lips. Um, the compensation plan um, just blew me away. I can't tell, I can't express enough about how amazing that is. Um, that has helped me and my family and has paid for groceries. It has paid my electric bill. It has put gas in my husband's truck when I had five dollars left to our name for a week. You know, we still live paycheck to paycheck. No, I haven't hit residual income yet, and that's okay. But it has helped me because I can't leave my house to work. I can't get that traditional 9-to-5 job. And to be honest with you, I don't want it now. I really don't. Because the things I, the things I receive emotionally from being in this business, I couldn't get from a desk job. Um... Sorry about that. I had a, a, a poor wireless connection. I I cry easily. When I'm very happy, I cry very easily. So I'm apologizing for all the unprofessional blubber that's coming out of me right now. <laughs> because I normally don't do this. Um... <clears throat> So in a nutshell, here is a reality. Here is a quick reality. When I get very sick, when I get very, very sick, and I can't work, I can't take a photo or do a video because I am like bombarded with rashes from me having a reaction. Those days happen for me. And I might have a month where I hardly make a sale because I can hardly work. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay because they don't make you go inactive because you didn't sell anything. Sorry, hang on a second. Let me have a sip of my coffee. The beauty about this whole thing is I can genuinely, genuinely work around my life. Um, I, I can take a week off if I need to, and the only one that it's going to affect really is me. Um, it'll be my choice, and I won't be reprimanded for it. Um, nobody's, like, hounding me to make sales or telling me to reach out to people, and we don't spam people. We're taught not to to message people, not to spam people. We're taught, it's actually in our compliance agreement, not to add people to groups without asking. This business is so professional with such high integrity. Um, there's a reason why, there's a reason why they are growing so fast is because they have already have a really great reputation reputation because they've been around for 63 years our actual sister company that we're off of has been around for 63 years they already know what they're doing they already have experience they just basically made it into a direct sales business for people like you and me for you know regular people oh Shelly I love you too girl how are you doing I'm sorry about my my snot people. <laughs> Here is another thing I have to share with you. I have to share this with you. The, next month I'm going to our business convention in Orlando, Florida. I have never been to one before, never, have never been to one before, and I'm going to be outdoors um, 
probably after 5 p.m. I've already talked to my doctor. He's going to up my meds to help me. Um, but he doesn't like to have me ha on that strong medication um, all the time because it's not good for me. But he will do it for me for a three-day period. So that's good news. <clears throat> um, but I've never been to... I've never been to a company convention, and after I saw the details that's that's involved with this, it's more than just going and having training. I mean, we're going to have, we are going to have training by top professionals. Um, one of our speakers is actually going to be um, the person that motivates and coaches Oprah Winfrey. We're going to have a professional makeup artist, a well-known professional makeup artist there um, that she's actually collaborating with us to create a um, eyeshadow line just from, with her name on it, but it's through us only. Uh, yes, of course. Huh? Wait a minute now. Always be my friend when I leave. What do you mean you're leaving? Oh, you need to message me, please. Message me. You know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delete you. I don't do that. Please message me when I'm done. Um I know you've got a lot of illnesses as well, sweetie. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. Um, so I'm gonna be going to this convention and meeting all these people I have been connecting with for the last six months. Um, the CEO, all my friends, my, my team is 22 strong right now. That's just a little blip. In the United States, um, there's only 2,400 beauty guides in the United States. They were like, I'm like at the ground floor of this right now. And when I think about my future and how everything, how everything roll, how everything happens. Like if I didn't get sick, if I didn't have these allergies and that didn't happen, I would still be a kitchen manager. Nothing wrong with that. I enjoyed my job. I love the food. I love cooking. Um, but I, this wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have joined a direct sales business if I wasn't sick. I would have just stayed at my nine to five job. Um, and now all this stuff is happening in my life. And for the girls that are on my team, I'm watching them grow. I'm watching them promote. I've had three promotions in six months. I and I'm working. I'm doing this all at home. Oh. I love you too. Please message me so we can talk. I know sometimes it's hard. Um, you know, I do need to make a living and I do need to work my business, but there's times where I can't do it and it's okay. And the, the, um, and I know that emotions don't pay your bills. I understand that. But it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference knowing that you have a humongous amount of support. Um, you don't have people hounding you, um, forcing you to work, or you don't have anybody like messaging you, telling you that you need to be active for the month or you're going to be gone. You know, you don't have all that. Everybody is wonderful, and. I'm completely in love with what I'm doing and I feel like my illness um, it coming at when it did kind of changed my course of my life and where I'm headed and where my family's headed that's what I wanted to do I just wanted I wanted to share a reality you know a more of a reality behind direct sales um, people think because they see so many spammers out there that oh that's awful I would never want to be in direct sales because this person's always messaging me adding me to groups without asking and oh, I'm so tired of her asking me to buy something you know 
they're just not trained right that's all they don't know so give them a little slack um, maybe say something to them when they do that to you you know don't be rude to them and you know because I was trained to do that with unique <laughs> be honest with you I was trained to do that to message all my friends message all your friends on your friends list and no it's the wrong it's actually the wrong way it's the wrong way um so no direct sales people don't understand oh hi Moni I love you too and I cannot wait to see you in four weeks cannot wait I cannot wait Shelly don't forget to message me okay um so I'm not here to change anybody's mind about having a direct sales business that's not what this video is about I will say if you have questions about it if you have legitimate questions like you're kind of curious like what do you have to do Michelle what is it that you actually do when you work message me I do not mind going into detail or giving you snippets or whatever I don't mind at all um, I'm here to help anybody and for any reason actually um, I have people messaging me about insecurities I have an insecure group that I run um, I'm not I don't post in it every day um, but I do have one and that's because I you know I used to be a very insecure person can't wait either yes 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 okay sweetie Shelly message me later when you have a chance okay thank you for popping on I love you girl so if you're now watching um, if you can watch the replay to see my a kind of a personal history about me before I went all into that business about my six-month review I am extremely happy where I am. Um, I've built a team of 22. I have wonderful, amazing ladies working their business every day who are extremely happy where they are at. And I just can't say enough about how my experience personally, even um, on the months that I can't hardly work because of my illness, I still love what I'm doing because I am treated like a human being. I am treated like a person and not a number. I am treated with respect. I am treated with honesty and integrity and just, and it doesn't matter that I'm not at the top or whatever, you know, it doesn't matter, there's no competition. There's no um, high school drama there's none of that crap. It just, I don't know how really to say it. There's, there's nothing like that with Limelight by Alcone. Rhonda. Okay. Ooh, we're going fishing. Oh, thank you, honey. You know, either, you know, Rhonda, that I would not have um, missed that. I found a way and I got there and... I'm just, I'm just sorry that that was the first time that we had met in person, that that had to be that, but I'm glad that I was there for you, and I will be, I will be seeing you soon, I, I really will be seeing you soon, have a great time fishing, yes, Amy, Amy, I love Amy, y'all need to check out her page, because she is awesome, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I love you girl I cannot we're gonna room together at limelight palooza I cannot wait for that you are a sweetheart you are such a kind loving person and we're gonna get along just fine in person I know we are <laughs> um Amy is great Amy is beautiful inside and out she is a doll she has she she inspires me daily like every single day i love her 
to pieces. And I cannot wait to give her a huge big hug when I get to Orlando, Florida. There's just too many amazing people. There's just too, it's just too, sometimes it's overwhelming, to be honest. Sometimes I feel like I have to pinch myself. Like, this can't, no way. This can't be real because I honestly have to pinch myself sometimes. And then I go and I have to share my vibration, how excited I am. And I try not to look all salesy and stuff. But when I'm excited about something, there's a reason why I'm posting it. There's a reason why I'm sharing it. And it's not to just get a quick sale. It isn't. It's just for anybody that wants to try it. Anybody that um, just wants to have some build some confidence. Um, have some self-love. Come back to yourself. If you've lost yourself. If you have lost your way in loving who you are. Because I've been there. And I, when I think about it, it hurts because I've been there. Thank you, Amy. It hurts because I've been there. I can, I can go back and think about it. I can go back and think like, I can close my eyes and remember those feelings. They don't go away. They don't. But when you start to learn how to love yourself, to appreciate yourself, to really tell yourself that you deserve so much more than what you're accepting, when you tell yourself that you want others to feel what you're feeling, not necessarily to just have someone on your team, it could be just a friend, someone who doesn't even join. When you tell yourself that you need to make a difference for other people too, you need to make other people feel good about themselves and stop sharing hateful, hurtful nonsense. So many times I see people sharing um, negative posts and it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do your life any good. It doesn't change anything. If anything, it will stress you out more. It'll lower your immune system. It'll make you feel more horrible. Um, it'll make you feel worthless. Um, but when you start to share positive, inspiring, uplifting, validating things um, with people, other people that matter, that have, a, have feelings, it makes a difference. It does. And when you start to realize the difference you're making for other people, you feel so much better about yourself. Um, it's a healing. It's a, it's like an inner healing thing. Uh, I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think I'm, I'm, I'm done expressing my six, six month review. Um, I really can't say any more about it other than it's a genuine business with genuine people who really care, that really want you to succeed. The training's already there, and it's just amazing. It is amazing, and I'm grateful for it. I'm extremely grateful to have this opportunity. I was the first in my area in Mississippi to join Limelight. I was the very first. And it's that's huge. That's really huge. I'm sorry all my blubbering people. Okay, I think I'm going to go. If you all have any questions, um, you just want to chat, say hello. You need some advice. Um... Whatever, whatever the case may be, if you want to try the products, that's fine too. If not, that's fine too. You know, I don't spam people. I don't pressure people. I don't do that anymore. So, 
message me if you'd like to chat and just talk. <laughs> There's just to talk. That's it. Have a great day, everybody. I really do appreciate everyone that popped on to watch. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you for pressing that play button. And have a beautiful, beautiful Monday, beginning of the week, and that's okay. God bless you all. Bye.